Welcome back to Akali's post-game coverage of the Oklahoma State basketball team following their 76-58 to victory over Iowa State. I'm Grant Ramirez here with Dean Rule. Dean, let's just start off with what your, your biggest takeaway from today's game was. I mean, I think if you look at it, I think OSU came out and they were really disciplined. They had, I mean, they were getting their offensive rebounds. I think that's been something they've been struggling with. That first half, I really liked that. I think they had great shot selection. I think they were shooting 50% from the field come halftime. Uh, Overall, I just think they really played a smart game, solid game, and I, that's why they come out with an 18-point victory. What are your thoughts, Grant? Yeah, something that stood out to me was Kate Cunningham. You know, he's got a lot of criticism lately of, you know, not starting games fast enough. He kind of changed that narrative today, mm -hmm. kind of did the reverse of what he's normally done. Uh, scored 15 points in the first half off, I think, three or four from, from three-point range. Uh, you know, he, he played a really good first half. He did have a couple bad turnovers in this game as it, as it went down, but... Uh, I, th I think it was good for him to, to show what he could do early on in, in some games, and, and it just kind of depends on the feel of the game for him. Uh, what, what, what do you think of Cade's performance? I mean, 21 points, you can't complain, obviously, but you're going to get that from Cade Cunningham every night. He had a uh, technical foul there late in the game. You know, I think that's just being a freshman, just letting your emotions get the best of you there. But, um, I mean, turn it around, played out the rest of the game great. I don't know how many assists and rebounds he finished with, but I know he was up there, one of the leaders on the team today. Uh, you know, I think that stood out kind of today was was OSU's passing. They had 20 assists. Uh, you know, up, up from their average of 13 on the season, they had 13 in the first half by itself. Uh, it seemed like Caleb Boone was a big recipient of that. Uh, just you know, getting wide open dunks and layups mm -hmm. from from open great passes by a teammate. So I think that that was a big thing today. Yeah, I think the passing. I mean, I think it's probably some of the best you know passing they've had all season. You know, they're finding the open man. They made it look easy. They got the ball where it needed to be and clearly paid off from uh just kind of looking back at the performance who do you think flew under the radar a little bit uh i think i'd say avery anderson you know he had a you know not not too flashy of a game i know he had a big you know fast break dunk but he just played a very clean game very smart game made good decisions uh didn't didn't take very many bad shots uh made some good passes so i, I feel like he he's he's grown a ton from his freshman year i mean he was kind of you know pretty mistake prone as a freshman which is expected uh but but his development has been really impressive you know i think also worth noting uh you got uh, Moncrief, he put up 17, seemed a bit quiet, you know, yeah. but he finished second on the team in uh, scoring today, 17 points. He just seemed to where, like, he was just where he needed to be, down in the paint. Uh, got some great second chances on some shots they put up. Uh, just seemed to clean up a lot of the boards that you know, just missed shots, you know, and I think he was a pretty vital role today. Mm -hmm. You got anything else to add? I got nothing else to add. I mean, impressive win for the Cowboys. Yeah, def definitely a good win. They're, I believe, their biggest of the Big 12 season. Uh, so I guess we'll, uh, you know, that'll, that'll do us for us. And uh, we will see you next time back at Gallagher Ivor Arena. Uh, again, I'm Grant Ramirez. This is Dean Rule. And this has been the Ocali post game coverage of the OSU basketball team.